All right, welcome back. In the last video, we talked about um, the process of automating your front door creation if you're coming from infra DevOps background. Now, this video is going to be about uh, security focus, how you could prevent malicious attack, DDoS attack, SQL injection, or cross-site scripting, all those uh, attacks which can happen to your website. There are spammers, crawlers all over the world coming from different geographical region and you want to protect your application be it your application or your website or your mobile application all you want is is a, a good security protocol which can protect your application and provide a central centralized production of your web application from common exploits and uh, vulnerabilities um, and that's what we're going to talk about Azure web application firewall which is called as WAF also sometimes how can it can integrate with Azure front door and give you a application uh, web application are incre increasingly targeted by malicious attack uh, that exploits common uh, common vulnerabilities like crosshair scripting SQL injections uh, DDoS attack and all those uh, uh, attacks and this can be can be uh, mitigated using web application firewall that come kind of comes with Azure and you don't have to write any custom scripts uh, a lot of many of the uh, bunch of rules comes by default and all you have to do is configure those rules you can also have a custom rule um, which kind of uh, gives you a TLS protection um, and uh, gives you a lot of benefits of protecting your application uh, by writing custom WAF rules. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our front door and on top of it uh, we're going to have an application firewall, web application firewall and we're going to see how you can uh, uh, we're going to take a use case, a use case wherein we would like to uh, restrict users coming from certain geographical location maybe somewhere in India or somewhere in Asia uh, that's what this video is being recorded from so it's going to be easier to showcase that and uh, whenever we see such type of request we're going to block that apart from that everything can be can be uh, let go so we already have got front door uh, this front door we have created in the last video using terraform and uh, this video uh, this uh, front door has got two web application uh, web application one and two if you go to the front door designer you could uh, see two backend pools that's going to be the web app service one and two so what we're going to do is we're going to go to web application firewall we haven't got anything so we're going to create one hit on create uh, policy for front door so you could have front door as your CDN or application gateway so we're going to select front door uh, resource group we could create one probably a new one WAF code red policy name uh, protect the front door state is enabled I'm gonna hit on the next one uh, so there are two mode uh, the one is uh, prevention and other mode is uh, detection uh, detection mode only monitors and logs all the thread it doesn't do anything however with the uh, uh, with the uh, prevention mode it blocks uh, uh, intrusion and attack that are rules detected um, and yeah there are basically two modes so detection when you just want to visualize what's happening and you don't want to take any actions and you know just collect and monitor those logs however with the prevention mode you kind of um, kind of uh, don't let the attack uh, go through the uh, your app application rather they receive a status code 403 and you can add a custom message as well um, since you could add a message like since you since it looks like a malicious attack this request is blocked by WAF. by the way you can put HTML over here as well to give you a better visualization and I'm gonna so you could select from the default rule Azure gives you bunch of default rules so you don't have to do anything rather you just select those rules and so do these these rules could be anything HTTP a smuggling attack splitting attack path based attack uh, you could have PHP attack as well X uh, 
SS filters, SQL injection, uh, there's DDoS attacks as well, there's SQL injection again. So there are a bunch of rules and you could have a custom rule as well. So we're going to create a custom rules. Um, I'm going to say it as a geo rule, enable it, priority. So there are two, three, four, five, priority five being the most critical one. So I'm going to give it a five priority and bases so I want to restrict users from coming from a different uh, location or bases on the IP address so I can put my IP address uh, remote address and uh, whenever the IP contain so what I'm going to do is what's my IP so just for the demo what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this IP address and whenever it contains this IP address it would either allow deny log or redirect so I wanted to deny it click on add and we have the rule uh, with match type and it's gonna block it uh, what do you want to attach this rule with it's gonna be a front door we already have got a only one for one front door so that's what we are going to add it with and we're gonna add this that's being added now if you want to add any tags like owner Shantanu and next is you hit on next and that's going to validate and verify that information feeded by you are kind of looks fine now you're going to hit on create and give it a few seconds to let it create all right so looks like the WAF is now deployed so let's go ahead and try to re hit our front door and as soon as we hit it you see that uh, we've got the message which we have typed in the custom message we did uh, since it looks like malicious attack the request is blocked by WAF you can even redirect this request to a certain website some landing page uh, some sort of so since this request is coming from my IP this is blocked you can even block it using uh, a geolocation probably you you see that a lot of malicious request coming from maybe something israel or any other country any country these attackers could be anywhere uh, don't quote me on this so yeah in those scenario you could use waf and if you go to the waf uh, rather front door you would see that the waf is now attached with this front door web application firewall inside the front door and you would see that it is attached you could have multiple uh, policies even attached with the front door you could add more policies uh, and if you go to the web application firewall you would see that so this managed rule their custom rule managed rules are the one which is given by azure you don't have to write anything azure gives you those uh, bunch of rules like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, uh, HTTP protocol violation, uh, anomalies such as missing host, user accept and accept headers, uh, agents, uh, crawlers, scanners, all these can be configured from here uh, and uh, you could even enable or disable it, take some actions and you don't have to write anything uh, on your own. However, with custom rules, uh, you could just create your own rules uh, and uh, these so whenever these custom rules are created they take the precedence over uh, they take the priority over the managed rule um, and it comes with supports uh, multiple rule sets uh, CRS, CRS 3.0 and 2.2.9 uh, it also supports geomatch custom rules and uh, comes with the prevention detection uh, mode uh, and based on the priority which is given over here it comes with four priority two being the least one um, that's being just a notice priority then the three priority which is the warning and then the fourth and fifth fifth being the uh, critical one which blocks the uh, traffic and you kind of get some monitoring as well uh, wherein you're able to monitor what's happening inside your and underneath your WAF. That's about it. I hope this was informative. This is going to be helpful when it comes to uh, securing your web application from malicious attack. I'll see you in a while. Thank you.